How many credit cards do you hold? What type of credit cards do you have? A personal decision should not be made lightly when it comes to having more than one credit card. You can easily overspend or fall behind when you have multiple credit cards because you will need to keep track of multiple balances. Monthly payments and due dates When you have multiple credit cards, you should also consider whether the annual fees are worth the hassle, as well as whether you will receive any cardholder perks. In the end, the number of credit cards you should have depends on how you use credit and the cardholder benefits you desire. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you are contemplating getting a second, third, or fourth credit card and wondering if it is worth the hassle, watch this video. When considering applying for another credit card, it is important to keep in mind the benefits you can get from having just one. With just one credit card, you can track your spending at any time since you can log into just one account. Spending on one card can help you earn substantial rewards, particularly if you use your card for almost all regular purchases and bills. In contrast, having multiple credit cards can help you achieve other goals. As an example, you can earn several credit card sign-up bonuses by signing up for multiple credit cards. It is possible to earn more rewards in certain spending categories by having multiple credit cards. Start by looking into credit cards that reward grocery shopping the most. Retailer credit cards can also be convenient. The benefits and rewards associated with these types of credit cards are tied to specific retailers. When you have multiple credit cards, you can earn different types of rewards, including cash back and loyalty points. When deciding how many credit cards to have, consider what matters most to you, convenience, or access to more rewards and perks. There are times when it pays off to pursue big rewards and welcome bonuses, but it's a risky game not everyone plays wisely. Often, big rewards come with higher annual fees, and high credit limits can make it tempting to spend more than you should. What is the recommended number of credit cards? As you can see from the following scenarios, you may want one or more cards depending on your situation. 1. Earning rewards of different types is important to you. It's a good idea to think about your spending habits before opening a credit card. In addition to regular spending, many credit cards offer special rewards or other benefits. Getting rewards points from grocery, travel, or gas spending is one of the best ways to maximize money. Cashback cards are another option to maximize rewards points. Some people prefer earning airline miles and cash back while others prefer earning hotel points and cash back. You can diversify your earning potential by having several types of credit cards in this case. 2. If you want to make rewards more engaging, you need to gamify them. You can also maximize your rewards on certain types of purchases by having multiple credit cards. Consider getting one cashback credit card that offers more points on groceries and gas than another that offers points on airfare, hotels, and other travel purchases. 3. A broad range of cardholder benefits is what you're looking for. There are several types types of benefits you can get from a credit card. For example, choose a cashback credit card with extended warranties and purchase protection against damage or theft, and then a travel credit card with travel insurance, trip cancellation protection and other travel benefits. 4. Having access to more than one credit card network is important to you. It can be helpful to have a card from another credit card network if a merchant won't accept your network's cards. Your network's experience is having issues processing charges, or if your credit card is being denied inexplicably when you try to use it. If you're traveling away from home and don't have easy access to cash or ATMs, this is especially true. Your spending has been difficult to track in the past. It might be easier to manage credit card debt with just one card if you've had trouble in the past. By keeping track of only one credit card balance, you can keep a close eye on how much you owe. This will prevent late payments. 5. Earning cash back is all you care about. In the event that you only want to earn cash back on your purchases, you may not see the benefit of having more than one credit card. So this situation, you're likely to be better off with a cash back credit card offering the highest rewards 
rate available. Six, it's your first time dealing with credit. When learning the ropes of credit, newcomers are usually better off having just one card. The beauty of having one credit card is that it allows you to build a positive credit history without falling into financial traps such as overspending and long-term debt. What to consider with multiple credit cards? You should position yourself for success if you find yourself attracted to having more than one card. Here are a few tips for making the most out of multiple credit cards while avoiding the biggest pitfalls. Make sure you check your spending at least once a week. Managing several cards effectively requires you to be aware of your spending on each one at all times. In that regard, it can be helpful to check each account once a week. You might want to consider using an app for budgeting. Additionally, you can use a budgeting app to keep track of all your spending and purchases. Never exceed 30% of your credit limit. You should avoid having a credit neutralization ratio over 30% on all your credit cards if you want to maintain a good credit score. In other words, you should never owe more than 3,000 on every 10,000 of available credit. Make sure you don't overspend in order to earn rewards. As a final precaution, be careful not to let having multiple cards entice you to overspend. If you want to earn multiple credit card sign-up bonuses and achieve multiple minimum spending requirements at the same time, this tip is especially helpful. Ok guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more financial topics. And I will see you soon.